Now, our in the video I posted online, I explained everything. For the people that saw the video, it was well detailed and well explained. Um, how I got hold of that um, recording is as a result of a risky blackmailing somebody who owes money. So, according to the story and according to the evidence that a proof of chat that was sent to me, um, the person borrowed for risky 4 million naira when for risky was in the EFCC detention, or rather in the private apartment lodge. Um, the person gave him the money on the sorry, excuse me, on the 19th. 6, 2024, the person gave him the money, 4 million naira. It was transferred to this account number 0496411279. Abiola Okunaya, and as you know, Obriski's name is Okunaya. So, Kuda. 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 So, um, apparently, it's his brother's account. So, when it was time to get the money back, According to the story the guy told me and the evidence I saw, he told Bobriski he needed to, he wanted that money to complete his build in Lagos. So that was why I borrowed him the money. So it's now time to pay. From the receipt I have here, he sent him a message. Bobriski refused to respond. He sent him another one after like a few days. Bobriski also refused to respond. When Bobriski eventually responded, Bobriski said, um, I'm going to give you the money in, I think, September. So September 1st, the guy reached out to Bobriski again, Bobriski refused. And the next thing that followed it was blackmail. He said, um, I will tell them that you are smooshing me and you are kissing me. So the guy felt very, very somehow, because he felt like he was not going to get his money. God's so kind, a very dark man that has the platform to call out the people that owes money and they will pay. So, a friend of mine who is very popular contacted me and he said, Vidya, see what's going on. And I said, okay, no problem. If you have received, send it. Then, um, when he sent it, now I'll say something here. When he sent it, immediately I made a video, I first video and I said, Risky, I'm giving you four hours to pay back. Then he started begging the guy. Now, what I'm going to say that my lawyer does not know. Now, he started begging the guy, then he paid. Immediately, he paid. But when I listened to the audio, I said, nah, even though you pay, this has to go there out there, man. Because EFCC cannot go around harassing some boys, young boys, and somebody with a godfather will be pulling stunts. I was detained in the prison. My very good friend, Sean Kuti, was detained as well. A lot of boys are inside the prison. Bobriski is not any way better than them. So I didn't see any reason why I should keep the audio. I kept the receipt of his payment, which he paid that day. He paid that day. So immediately I got it, which was on the on Tuesday, September 24th. On Tuesday, just a few six days ago, I think. Then um, the charts acknowledging when he wants to, when he was disturbing the guy that he wants to refund immediately after he saw my video. And then, um, yes, the charts, and the charts where he blackmailed the guy. There's a particular place where he blackmailed the guy. Um, the charts also asked him for the money. As a reminder, we would like to read one part for September 4th. He said, Dear Bobiski, this is a reminder for the return of the loan amount of 4 million naira as agreed. The due date for the return is September 1st. Mind you, this September 1st, it was the risky that gave him the dates. Then he said, kindly use the attachment account details to send the reform. Then he sent his account number. So because he didn't get it, he came to me. So I'll read the part of the blackmail that made him. Because, yes, I would like to verify that the guy said he's not gay. I don't know, I don't live with him, but he asked it. So he said he's not gay. Okay, so this part, um, after requesting, sorry. So this part, the guy went on saying things like, I helped him when he needed help. When it's time to pay me back, like I'm requesting me, this is not fair. I will not pay me like this. Then Bobby still went on to say, when you kiss me and smooch me, you didn't give me any money. Are you mad? Your visit to Nigeria that you kissed me in Lagos, did you give me anything? 
I didn't ask you for money. No, because I am fucking okay. If not EFCC, you think I'm going to ask you for money? Does that mean it's because of EFCC is asking for money? I know. Uh, if not EFCC, um, do you think I'm going to ask you for money? You are typing all this message to someone help you post flyers without collecting, collecting anything from him. Wow. Go ahead and call me out. I will respond to you on IG. You know I am shameless and I don't care. You will get your money, I have your account. I don't want to look like someone that is ungrateful. But threatening me that you give me 24 hours is the height of it. I am waiting for you to post or call me out. So apparently the guy told him he was going to tell me. So these are the evidence I'm going to present. Ad Additionally, after this, there's a second one. Okay, um, and I'll do everything. Um, uh,